Am I getting it wet over here at BK? Let's peep this out. YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's your boy Ian K back again with another one for you. Circling on through to BK once again guys after a very fun week of reviews which you guys can definitely find in the description box down below. So definitely check that out if you're curious to see my thoughts on the Carl's Jr. and Hardy's Midnight Moonshine Burger, BK's Angriest Whopper, and of course the super fun collab that I just completed with Joey's World Tour and the X Menu from In-N-Out Burger here on the West Coast. All right guys, so after I checked out the Angriest Whopper scoring one of the first ones off the assembly line here in my neck of the woods last week, I actually saw something else on the menu over here at BK that definitely caught my eye and of course I had to swing on back and check it out. And since you've already seen the thumbnail and the title to this review you already know it's the extra long Philly cheeseburger and I gotta tell you guys right off the bat this is pretty small. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hoping the flavor on this is going to be pretty amazing. How bomb sexy is this going to be for our face right now? What exactly is on the extra long Philly cheeseburger? Guys, y'all know what show you're watching. Let me get you right up on it as we always do. Let's peep this out. Have it your way at BK, guys, with the extra small, I mean extra long Philly cheeseburger and what's being billed as a flame grill take on a classic. Let's pop the top on this hoagie style bun and see what we're working with. Well, it looks like in addition to the two flame grilled patties on the bottom, guys, we are greeted with a lot of cheese. What you're looking at here is two slices of American cheese along with a cheese sauce. And of course, it is topped off with the grilled onions right there. A lot of grilled onions too. That's not looking half bad. It's just that the overall size of this sandwich itself is a little on the small side. Judging by my hand that you can see in the background here, this is pretty small for something that's being billed as extra long. But again, it's all gonna be in the flavor. And of course, with those grilled onions looking as marinated as they are, I'm sure curious to see exactly how bomb sexy this is gonna taste in overall flavor. So let's satisfy that curiosity, guys. This is the extra long Philly cheeseburger new here at Burger King. Let's see how bomb sexy it tastes. All right, two flame grilled patties, cheese, grilled onions on a medium style hoagie style bun. I don't know, guys, the extra long Philly cheeseburger. Let's do it. Oh. Mm. oh, a lot of onions, man. That is a lot of cheese. More cheese and onions than anything else on that. Let me go for another bite. The flame grill patties are okay. They're just a little on the thin side, guys. I mean, there is a lot of cheese in there, a lot of onions, and the bun itself is not as toasted as I'd like. I really am looking for that little bit of a crunch at the end after that bite there. It kind of feels like the bun itself's a little on the raw side. But overall, it's just a lot of cheese. That's what I'm tasting mostly, with a little hint of the smokiness of the flame grilled patties afterwards. Mmm. Oh my god. What kind of onions are these, man? This is ridiculous. I do have to say, those onions are a little scary, guys. Judging by the close-up earlier, it looked like they were just kind of like smaller ones, kind of wrapped around but those are just like ropes. That is just a ridiculously weird onion. I mean, the flavor is okay. They're definitely marinated, but it's just that they're a little on the tough side. They're a little bit on the chewy side, and it really is a little off-putting to see ropes and ropes of onions coming out there. Again, the cheese is overpowering a lot of it either way. I mean, it really is Philly in name only. I see what they're going for there with the cheese sauce and of course the onion, something that you would get on like a Philly cheesesteak. But overall, this really feels to me like a glorified grilled cheese sandwich with onions and a little bit of meat on the inside. I think we call that a patty melt. <laughs> the only problem is the bun is not toasted enough to be a patty melt. But guys, it really is a very overpowering, cheesy, cheesy, gooey, cheesy sandwich, primarily. All right, guys, let me just say that is definitely not worth $3.69 for one of those sandwiches. And it is part of the two for five menu over here at BK. And on the outset, that actually sounds like a good deal. But what you're getting is not worth that. Even at $2.50 a piece, guys, what you're really getting is a glorified cheese sandwich with a little bit of meat thrown into the mix. I think if the meat was a little bit thicker and those onions were just toned down slightly or at least a different type of onion, those things were crazy to look at, crazy to bite into, and much less the combination of everything together. The bun itself could have been toasted a little bit better too. And overall, I just feel that if this was a premium sandwich with just a little bit more to it, it would be a little bit better. So guys, on that bomb sexy fear face scale, I'm gonna have to give this one a very middle of the road, five out of 10. It's okay for what it is. It's got some decent flavor if you like a lot of cheese. The onions are okay. It's just that for me, they were a little crazy to bite into. And honestly, it was a little off-putting there. The meat itself just needs to be a little bit thicker. But it is a value item over here BK and it is meant for that menu. So guys, if you've had this one, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you agree. And that's it for now, gang. This is your boy Ian K closing out another episode of Peep the South, circling on back to BK to take a look at the quote unquote extra long Philly cheeseburger. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me. 
Because after all, this is Pete the Sow, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip it. Whip it good. Oh, that is nuts. Man, if only there was a little bit more burger on the burger. Man, this thing is beyond wit. It's more like, what the hell? I swear, the only thing extra long on this thing are the onions. All right, that's it. I've been traumatized enough. I'll see you soon.